coverage of the NBA on 2K Sports. Alongside Richard Jefferson. And well, Graham, this is not your average regular season game. These teams are fierce rivals. Oh, yes they are, B.A. I love playing in these type of games. I mean, the fans... are extra loud, the players are fine. Fired up, <laughs> this will be fun. So the Houston starting five. Van Vliet and Green, they're manning the backcourt. Smith and Shingoon play together in the front court, and it's Whitmore in at the three. Well, Richard, we know how decorated AD was early on in his career. What can we expect from him moving forward? Oh, he was getting defensive player of the year and MVP votes back then. If he can get back to that level, he's going to be an absolute focal point for a long time coming. Both free throws good from Davis. Over his career, Anthony Davis has averaged 24 points, 10 rebounds, and two blocks. Those are career numbers, Richard. It's a very short list of players who have done that. Single digits. Pair his scoring with his defensive abilities, and you've got a problem. Just five to shoot. Late clock. Houston's got to hurry. Here's Shangoon. And it's going to be a 24-second violation. They turn it over. Now Los Angeles with it. This team doesn't just win, they win big. Now with a double-digit win differential for the season. Wow. That means they've given full effort for all their games. No garbage time, no lax efforts, full throttle basketball playing. They've spent a lot of time dominating on the floor. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. I did briefly speak with J.J. Reddick. We talked about Fred Van Vliet and how Coach hopes to counter him. Coach told me I'd love to put size on him and give him an unfavorable matchup. But the truth is, it's all about hustle. Just staying on him as much as possible. It's a pretty straightforward strategy, but Coach hopes it's effective, guys. All right, Allie, thanks once again. Yeah, well, look, you can bump him, but that's not going to stop LeBron James. Here's Whitmore. No good with a layup. The Lakers have gone two of three from the floor. James finds Achimura. Now here's Davis. Whitmore defending. Driving to the basket. Uses the glass on the layup. He is slashing toward the hoop. Whitmore not hesitating when he sees an opportunity. And Reeves has got the ball here for Los Angeles. They're getting their first look of the season at the Rockets in this one. They'll be looking to impose their will against this team. Something they couldn't achieve last season. And three for four to start. Showing some rhythm. For Houston, they've gone one for three so far. Outside Whitmore. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. An impressive athlete. This rookie Whitmore loves getting inside and hammering it home. James passes to Davis. Shane Coon with a steal. And here we go, the Rockets in transition. <laughs> And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. <laughs> Man, the defender really went after him. And Richard, the former second overall pick in 2021. We all see the potential for Jalen Green. When you see the physical ability combined with his shooting range, he's got a chance to be one of the top scorers in this league. Thompson, he's checked in for Houston. And for Green, it's about focusing on taking high percentage shots. When he does this, he's an effective player. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad. Bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. And we've got a timeout call by Ime Udoka. And we might see some changes. Coach potentially looking to adjust. And with All-Star Weekend approaching, let's see what's going on in the West.
Taking a look at the Lakers, they've been enjoying a truly spectacular run this season, sitting on top of the mountain in the first place spot. And of course, the Rockets, they're just four spots down from them. I think for Los Angeles, you have to really give it to them. I mean, they are backing up all the preseason hype. They've been outstanding early. And you want to talk about hitting the ground running? They've done exactly this. And you've got to give a lot of credit to their coaching staff for getting this team locked in early. And Davis slams it home. That's exactly what you want to see from AD, using that length and that athleticism to cause problems. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Van Vliet, the pass to Green. Hachimura with a rebound. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. And finished off by Davis. Nice one-handed jam. Simple, ineffective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Thompson against Hachimura. Shangun, a screen on Hachimura. Thompson passes to Shangun. Since being drafted in 2021, Hopper and Shangun has really grown his game, Richard. Particularly his assist number. That's what impresses me. You can run the offense through the 6'11 Shangun. It's so impressive. First free throw is good. Since being selected in the 21 draft, Alper and Shangun has really improved. Yeah, from nine points per game as a rookie to over 20 in his third year, Shangun has averaged about five assists per game over a season. A huge number for a 6'11 post guy. He is so skilled. Davis against Shangun. Davis with a screen on Van Vliet. Russell. It's hauled in by Houston. They defeated Milwaukee in their last game. I found it was an interesting game. Anything they couldn't get from their starters, they got from their reserves. For a number of reasons, depth seems to become more important every year. Russell against Van Vliet. Hayes with a screen on Van Vliet. Hayes misses. Rockets trail by four. Here's Thompson. That shot off. For Los Angeles, they've gone six of nine and finding their rhythm now. Hayes, the pass to Davis. Back to Hayes. Ooh, stolen by Smith. Outside, Green. Back to Smith. The three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Yeah, looking so comfortable out there on the perimeter. Smith has really invested in getting this shot dialed in. Van Vliet against Russell. The three is up. Rebounded by Green. Houston has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Here's Van Vliet. And he misses the go-ahead basket. Outside Davis. Pass to Vincent. Hayes with a screen. Here's Russell. And that's not going to go. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. It's Los Angeles leading by one. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Lakers. I've really been impressed with how aggressive they've been inside. Looking to capitalize from the paint whenever they can. Now also, you've got to appreciate how unselfish they've been. I mean, the ball movement has been impressive. And the assist numbers are off the chart. We've got LeBron James. D'Angelo Russell is out there with Gabe Vincent. Then there's Hayes, and it's Christie in at the three. That's the Laker five. Hayes with a screen on Eason. Here's James. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. 
See, that miss, that miss right there, it's why teams try to avoid the mid-range jumper these days. Well, Grant, after three straight drafts, high in the lottery, the Rockets got to 500 in 2024. Yeah, and I love how they signed some vets in the summer of 23. Houston decided we want to win now, and I wish more teams did that. Holiday's checked in for Shepard, and let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Hey, B.A., well, the Rockets got a lot more organized with Coach Ime Udoka and their veteran additions, including point guard Fred Van Vliet, who said it's just having that poison presence to slow things down and get guys where they need to be, rein it in, get some structure, and maximize these guys' potential. B.A.? Allie, a great floor general. Thanks for that. Here's James. Oh, okay! Look wow. out! Man. Wow! Okay, wow, old man LeBron James getting acrobatic, putting on a show. I see you, big fella. Oh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Thompson passes to Brooks. Perfect night so far, two for two. No settling for an outside shot there. They went right to the hoop. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. They trail by one. Reddish screen on Easton. Physical play by LeBron inside. And his ability to efficiently score, that's really helped him out in this one. Putting them ahead on the scoreboard. The ball's knocked loose. On the break. Here's Reddish. Good work there as it goes. Oh, that's impactful defense right there. Finding a steal and instantly turning it into offense. And Ime Udoka has called timeout. I think right now he must be looking at some adjustments. Some changes now for the Lakers. Christian Wood is checked in for Hayes. Achimura comes in for Reddish, and Reeves is subbed in for Russell. Whitmore's checked in for Houston. Van Vliet comes in for Holiday. Van Vliet against Reeves. Van Vliet misses. The Lakers lead by three. Right now, firing on all cylinders. Yeah, there's a nice flow to this offense right now. The Rockets have gone two of four here in the second quarter. Richard, it's nice to have the versatility of a guy like Hachimura equally comfortable at either forward position. Well, he's got the size and strength of a modern-day NBA power forward, but he also has the ability to stretch the floor and knock down a three. That's a nice combo. Here's James. The Rockets pull it in. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Outside Eason. Pass to Whitmore. Shangun, a screen on Achimura. Here's Whitmore. Back to Eason. Launches a three. And Reeves pulls it down. The Lakers have got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. It's James with the drive. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to be on him in Thompson. Look, this dude is an absolute terror on the defense when he's slashing towards the rim. He dares the defense to foul, and sometimes people make business decisions. The Lakers making a switch here. Davis is checked in. Steven Adams checked in for the Rockets. Green comes in for Thompson. Pass to Whitmore. Over Ashimura. And it's Whitmore missing. The Lakers in the lead. James with the ball. 11 points in the game. And here's Ashimura. Knocks down the triple. Hachimura's got himself on the board with a three there. Looking cool and comfortable from the corner is Hachimura. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Three-pointer, Van Vliet. No good on the shot. The Lakers lead by five. Reeves finds James. Now Davis. Adams covering. And Davis slams it home. And although he's undersized at his position, his vertical, yeah, that'll clean up a few mistakes. Houston has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Double team on Van Vliet. Here's Whitmore outside. Drops in the 3. Whitmore's got 7. 
Nice placement on the pass. Van Fleet puts it in the right spot where you can do something with it. Outside Reeves. Davis with a screen on Van Vliet from the high post. The shot by Reeves, no good. Got to move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. And the luxury of having Van Vliet. He doesn't need the ball to score. Fred can work off the rock and be a spot-up shooter. And so J.J. Reddick calls for the timeout. Coach wants to speak to his guy, maybe alter some of the game plan. Connect checked in for Christie. Shangun checked in for Houston. Smith comes in for Eason. Richard, in 2024, D'Angelo Russell set the Lakers record for most three-pointers in a single season. Yes, 226 threes, surpassing Van Exel, a record that stood for almost 20 years. Russell was also very efficient, shooting a career high on 42% of those threes. Athleticism showing through from Whitmore. He doesn't need much room at all to operate in close. And here's Connect outside. Hachimura, the pass to James. Here's Connect. Six to shoot. Screen by James. It's stolen by Green. And here we go. The Rockets in transition. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. And this will be a second trip to the free throw line. Free throw no good for Green. Very good from here. Green over 80% from the line. Richard, if you look back at the Rockets' history, it's striking how many all-time greats have worn that uniform. There are so many Hall of Famers. Hakeem Olajuwon, Ralph Sampson, Calvin Murphy, Yao Ming, Elvin Ames, and that's only to name a few. And here in the second quarter, he's starting to work himself to the free throw line. That's a good move. Houston with the ball. They've outscored him 10-2 during this run. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Band lead left side. Takes the three. It's rebounded by Los Angeles. Coming into this, having Knox to win against San Antonio in their last game. You have to respect their ability to stay consistent away from home. Keeping their cool and making quality shots. They took the air out of the crowd again and again with big shots. They never let the fans become a factor. No good on the free throw. Taking two shots. And he's good on the second. One second left. He can't get it to go, and that'll do it for the first half. This game is tied, and we'll be back right after this. And please direct your attention to center court. And... Hello and welcome, LeBron. Man, I just love his attitude that's always up there and always just great. He's mixing it up down there, really taking it to the defense. He's got a few moves he can go in there and hard to slow him down once he's cooking. And let's switch it up. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. We're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. You know, LeBron James has been exceptional here, guys. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. You love guys who can get their shots within the flow of the offense. So, on the floor for Houston. Smith and Shingoon play together in the front court. Van Fleet and Green, they're manning the backcourt. And it's Whitmore in at the three. Honestly, I feel so fortunate to be able to sit here and watch this because there are not many vintage performances by LeBron James left to go in his career. On the wing, Whitmore. Shingoon, a screen on Achimura. 
Here's Whitmore. And the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Aging in the league can be a difficult process, Richard. But that's something you did very well. Wow, compliment. Thank you, B.A. Look, I knew I had to adapt or I would have been out of league sooner than I wanted to. You have to be able to adapt or die. That's what this league is about. And the Lakers making a change here. Christie's checked in. Pass to Reeves. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Oh, trains the 19-footer. Reeves has gotten his first basket of the night. Some guys don't like that shot, but Reeves has a lot of confidence in his midi. And here's Green from the arc. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Davis has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Connect. Puts the move on. It's rebounded by Shangoon. And Ime Udoka has called timeout. He's going to talk it over with his guys. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. James has checked in for the Lakers. Our 2K leaderboard highlighting the NBA's assist leaders over the last month. Fourth, the Lakers. And over this last stretch, this team has been incredible passing the rock, playing great team basketball. Reeves against Van Vliet. Outside for Green. Smith outside. Pass to Shangun. Outside Whitmore. Shangun, no good. Los Angeles leading by three. James finds Davis. Davis going to work in the paint. This is what Davis does, people. He has a wide variety of ways to score. Very few bigs can handle like that. And how about LeBron? Even if he's no longer the clear-cut best player in the league, he can still take over a game, RJ. Oh, make no mistake. He is still the best when he needs to be. Absolutely has a switch that gets flipped when he needs it. He's not on for 48 minutes, but he can definitely turn it on for a few. And he ends that fast break chance. An intentional foul. That's a textbook example of the transition take foul rule. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. You know, Grant and Van Vliet, they've got a guy who's been through everything in this league. Yeah, B.A., Van Vliet's seen it all. He's won a championship. He's been in the All-Star game. He's been on a last-place team. <laughs> no wonder nothing seems to phase him. For three, Smith. Rebound by the Lakers. Davis has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Easy two for AD. Every time this man gets an assist, it feels like every other night he just moves up the all-time leaderboard. Rockets trail by four. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Well, similarities in the games of Alperen Shengun and Nikola Jokic. A couple years back, Jokic suggested that Houston run their offense more through him, and they have. Jokic said that's going to benefit the whole organization. He wants to pass and play for the team. They'll move when the ball is in his hands. Brian? Well, Jokic would know. Thanks, Allie. On the night, he's two for two at the strike. All right, the Rockets making a switch here. Thompson's checked in. First team foul. I'm not sure we've seen someone like AD before. Super long, skilled, athletic. He's just a unique talent. Outside, green. Assertive move. You could tell the game's heating up a bit. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. Hayes with a screen on Van Vliet. And it's Vincent off the drive. Shots blocked. I mean, that was pure hustle by Van Vliet. Giving his all to influence the shot and swat it away. To the wing, right side. Here's Smith. Oh, the dunk by Smith. I just love the aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. Hayes with a screen. Reeves, the pass to Davis. Back to Reeves. Fires from deep. 
It's rebounded by Shangoon. Rockets trail by three. Smith finds Van Vliet. 149 left to play in the third quarter here. Let's it go from 11. Hachimura with a rebound. Hachimura's got four rebounds in the game. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Hayes with a screen on green. And here's Reeves outside. It's rebounded by Shangoon. Houston has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Here's Thompson. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. I like how Thompson put pressure on the D, taking it strong near the hole. That free throw is good from Thompson. And we've got a timeout called by J.J. Redick. He wants to review the game plan. Some changes for Los Angeles. Reddish has checked in for Achimura, and D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Reeves. Eason's checked in for the Rockets. Dylan Brooks comes in for Van Vliet. And what I like about Thompson, along with the high-level athleticism, he has a high-level feel for the game. Russell to pass to Davis. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking for Houston. On Friday, they'll take on Ben Simmons and the Brooklyn Nets. And then on Friday, they'll begin a road trip, starting in Orlando, going up against the Magic. In that game against the Heat, you'd be hard-pressed to find a more even pairing in the league. That one promises to be a really closely fought battle. He's perfect from the line this time. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. Pass to Shangun. It's rebounded by Los Angeles. 59 seconds left in the third quarter. Outside Davis. Eason pulls it in. Surprising he didn't bury that, but hey, it happens sometimes. Down low. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Cam Reddish. Well, Shingun is a big man that is hard to handle. And he knocks down the first one. Tari Eason is seen by some as a player on the rise, Richard. Things are coming together for him. Yeah, his game is evolving along with his confidence. When young players put in work, they are going to get better. And that's what Eason has done. All right, the Rockets making a switch here. Shepard's checked in. Davis a screen. Russell to pass to Hayes. Outside Russell. Shoots over Shepard. No good. Off the front rim. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. Thompson outside. There's 14 seconds left in the third. Just five on the clock for the lead. Some solid defense from Hayes. Here's Vincent. And that's not going to go. Misses at the buzzer. We're at the end of the third quarter, and we've still got a close one. It's Los Angeles leading by one. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. And he definitely deserves the award. Reading the defense like a point guard. He'll be proud of that one. Bigs love when their passing skills are noticed. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Jackson Hayes is out there with Christian Wood. Then it's Gabe Vincent. Then there's Cam Reddish. And it's Russell in at the point guard position. That's the Laker five. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Outside Whitmore. Let's it fly. Here's Adams. And it's rejected. Vincent with the ball. Now Thompson defending to the middle. Outside for Russell. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Oh, that's a strong play. Russell anticipates the contact and creates the and one opportunity. And now we get a little perspective here on how the hustle game has been for Los Angeles. 
But look, look, it's not just about forcing a turnover, guys. It's about converting them in those opportunities and cashing them in. Well, another major factor in the offensive performance was the fast break. Converting on those chances when they get them tonight. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. And so J.J. Reddick calls for the timeout. He wants to make sure they're purposeful with the game plan. Changes for Los Angeles. LeBron, he's checked in for Hayes. Connect comes in for Reddish. And Reeves is subbed in for Vincent. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. I was able to listen in on what J.J. Reddick was going over with his team. Despite the lead, Coach was stern with the guys, mentioning to the team, do not let up. I've seen some big comebacks in this league, and this is not over. An interesting message. B.A.? As always, Ali, we thank you. Set him up properly. Van Fleet will knock that down. Here's James. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for two. LeBron. That free throw, good from James. I think everybody knows how good LeBron James is. But the thing that makes it remarkable is the longevity of his talent. And he is still leading the way for his team. And here's Thompson. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. Four-point game. Van Vliet outside. And there's the foul. It's on D'Angelo Russell. That's foul number two for him. Yeah, they've been pretty careless so far, racking up a number of fouls in very little time. Van Vliet against Russell. To the paint. Here's Adams. And a great assist by Van Vliet as that one goes. Van Vliet's got three assists in the game. The Lakers shooting at a respectable 49%. James against Eason. Outside for Russell. From the arc. Fires in the triple. Russell's got five points in the quarter. Love the fire that Russell brings to his game. He will not be denied easily. Thompson finds Van Vliet. Now here's Adams. Outside Whitmore. Gets the bucket and the foul. Christian Wood picks one up. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Trying to close out. You got to know who's hot and who's not. Smith outside. Inside. Finding some room inside Green. Coach has to be pleased with what Green is doing out there, playing with a ton of energy on the offensive end. Shangun against James. And here's Reeves outside. And Los Angeles, another three. Cool, calm, and collected at a critical juncture in this game. Rockets trail by four. It's a little too early to be over the limit. They need to keep a close eye on their foul situation. Free throw good. Green. Some changes for Los Angeles. Anthony Davis comes in for Wood. And Rui Achimura subbed in for Russell. And a change for the Rockets. Van Vliet's checked in. They're finding a rhythm from the line as they try to cut into this deficit. And James throws it down! How many times have we seen LeBron hit a huge bucket in his career? I don't know. I've lost count, but that was beautiful to watch. On the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. Three-pointer Van Vliet. Rebounded by the Lakers. Hachimura's got five rebounds tonight. And his struggles have been apparent. Unable to make an impact score in the ball. A premier player in this league, Davis, with another huge night, showing why he is an NBA champion. Rockets trail by six. And it's Van Vliet off the drive. Houston with another miss. Los Angeles has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Pass to connect. Fires for three. They get it back. Out to James. Second chance effort. 
Smith with the rebound. Smith's got four rebounds now. To the inside, here's Shangun. Hachimura with a rebound. Hachimura's got six rebounds in the game. Down low, Davis. The shot's good on the assist by James. Davis has got 21. In case you haven't been watching his entire career, it is tough to contain Davis when he is on a roll. He's got a physicality and an expansive all-around skill set. James with the ball, and it's Shangun picking him up. Screen by James, and here's Connect outside. Rockets with a rebound. Smith's got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Shangun. From down in the low post, it goes. Huge points from Shangun, the big man from Turkey, stepping up. The Lakers lead by six. Here's James. Clock at six. Hachimura outside. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. And so they foul intentionally. Here's Connect. And Smith over to help. Here's Connect. Three-pointer. Smith with the rebound. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. And that's an intentional foul. The second personal foul. The fourth team foul. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now for the second. Two shots. And he does get the second one. And that makes it a seven-point lead. Time called here. The Rockets decide to talk it over. They trail by seven. All right, guys, what's your take? And time's running short. They just couldn't get over that hump. And I'm sure coach is encouraging them to play to the final whistle. Then they can get out of here. From the line, he connects. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And an intentional foul right there. Houston foul. Jalen Green, his third personal foul. He gets the first, and that increases the lead to six. You see the upside in a rookie like Dalton Connect. He's got a good build and dynamic offensive skill set. Some improvements around defense, and he'll be a solid addition to any lineup. Making the most of his trip to the line and helping them extend their lead. Twenty seconds left in the game. Van Vliet misses. Here's Connect. So it's Los Angeles picking up the win. Boy, a hard-fought game. They did a great job of holding on to the lead at the end. Yeah, get the coffee, because that's the way to close. You're going to face some obstacles in the game. They overcame every one. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. LeBron, the lead was changing hands, but what was it that enabled you to take control of this game? In the second half, we started to clamp down defensively. Allie, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Richard Jefferson, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you.